everybody. I've been working on your Jeep for over an hour, and I can't find out what's wrong with it. My battery's dead. Oh. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, my battery was dead. I can't understand what happened. Well, could leaving the car lights on all night have any effect on that? Why, yes, it could. Why would you ask? No reason, no reason, no reason at all. <laughs> Oh, all right, Mindy. Yeah, there, there's a big reason, but a, a very good one, though. There's always a good reason. Oh, you understand, Pops, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, basically, there's this cute little old wino outside, and he was sleeping in the gutter, and I left the lights on so no one would park on him. You're so courteous. I tell you what, Mark, as soon as I finish my coffee, I'll drop you off at the daycare center. Oh, thanks, Pops, you know. Oh, man, man. Oh, opening night jitters. I've got the flop sweat already. I don't even have a costume yet. Oh, Mark had this really good idea about the kids dressing up as their favorite hero. Yeah, kids today could use some heroes. Yeah. When I was a young boy, I used to like the Western heroes. Uh, Roy Rogers and Gene Autry and Tex Ritter. Of course, in those days, you could always tell who the good guys were because they all wore big white hats and played guitars. I always used to wonder why they never rode into town playing a violin. <laughs> That's probably because all the Indians had the bows. <laughs> Imagine Custer's last concerto. <laughs> I guess my favorite hero was the Lone Ranger. Oh, the Lone Ranger's a real good one, Mark. I think you'd like him because he always settled fights peacefully. Oh, man. Whoa, parallel universe, we have someone like that just on Orc. Really? An Orc, you have somebody like the Lone Ranger? Yes. Well, he's more like the Lone Chicken. <laughs> See, he would, whenever there'd be trouble, he would always hide. His favorite motto was, when the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. <laughs> it sounds like the Gabor sisters to me. Yeah. That's it. I can go and squelman the yellow. What a strange planet, making a hero out of someone who does nothing but hide. What does he look like? I don't know. No one ever saw his face. All we ever saw was this... Yellow feathered tush, high tailing it in the sunset. <laughs> Happy tails. <laughs> Until we meet again. Emily, tall building for the single boo. It's a turkey. No, it's squirrel in the yellow. <laughs> the proud coward with the golden tail. So now, you see, that's a hero where I came from. By creative hiding, that's how he survived. No, nope. someone's up next. Who's up? You're up, Jonathan. I'll give you a hint. Sugar Ray Leonard. One more hint and I might get it. Speaking of sugar, when do we eat? Now, Stephanie, you just had lunch, and very few people can eat a whole turkey and live. <laughs> Now, who's your hero, Stephanie? Sara Lee. I might have guessed. Uh, stick a brownie in your ear. Stephanie, if you keep this up, one day you're going to go in an elevator and it's going to say, capacity, you. <laughs> who's your hero, Lola? Truman Capote. <laughs> For his accurate, yet lyrical portrayal of the human condition. <laughs> Lola, one day you're gonna have a talk show all of your own. <laughs> Billy, who's your hero? My dad picked my hero for me. Well, who is it? Him. He wants me to be a doctor like he is. Oh, that's not a bad hero. I mean, they save lives, they play great golf, and they never bother you at home. <laughs> Big deal. My dad won't let me be who I really want to be. Well, who's that? The guy with my name. Billy the Kid. Who's a tough hombre. His dad never told him what to do. Oh, Billy the Kid. Isn't that the president's brother, the one that helped Reagan get elected? <laughs> no, Mark. He was a famous cowboy. People say he used to live in that old ghost town near here. Oh, well, that's it, a ghost town. The ultimate retirement village. Imagine the maid changing the sheets up there. Ah! <laughs> The old town outside of Boulder. I bet Billy had fun out there. Got to camp out, never eat broccoli. Billy, come as Billy the Kid if you want. Really? Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Oh, shucks and wazoo, little Yoda. <laughs> well, that's it for today, kids. Time for a field trip. Today we're going to go down to that chemical plant by the river and watch the dead fish race. <laughs>
Thanks for the ride, Exidor. Lucky for you, the Shriners canceled. <laughs> Walk, I'm going out of town, and I'd like you to take all my phone calls. All right. Here. <laughs> Where's the receiver? I don't know. I just don't want anybody calling me long distance. Now I'm sure you two boys have a lot to chit-chat about, so I'll just leave you two alone. Min, Min, come on now. Exodore's our friend. Exidor is your friend, Mark. <laughs> you know, quite a few people think he's a little strange. I've heard those ugly rumors, and they're grossly exaggerated. <laughs> Do you have any chinchilla dip? <laughs> I rest my case. Mark. I'm going away on a very secret trip. So secret, in fact, that I've blindfolded my burrow. <laughs> Some call it kinky, I call it security. <laughs> Hush tuned. Why is it so secret? Mark, there's a fortune buried out there. <laughs> I inherited this map from my late grandfather. He's deceased, you know. There's nothing on this map, Exodor. A necessary precaution. Besides, I've got it all right there, Mark. Ah, oh, memorize it, huh? No, I had it tattooed on the inside of my eyelid. <laughs> Steinmetz, Pepe, Guido, load up the burro and pile on. I'm an equal opportunity employer. <laughs> All those people on one burro, that's incredible, those amazing animals. <laughs> if you should get a postcard saying, wish you are blank, you know who it's from. I'll be back in about a month. Frankie, Annette, surf's up. <laughs> Min, you can come out now. Exodor's gone. Exodor was gone when he got here. <laughs> well, I hope your day's been going better than mine. Oh, me too, Min. My idea about the heroes with the kids was a great success, except for Billy. Oh, why? His father wanted him to be a doctor. Why? That's a good hero. Well, well, he didn't like it, so I found him a new one. Billy the Kid. Well, that's not so good, Mark. Billy the Kid was a murderer. He killed 21 people. Oh, man, you don't know that for sure. I mean, you know how people gossip at funerals. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he must have done something to become famous. Well, sometimes people become famous for the wrong reasons. Kids always imitate their idols, so it's better for everybody if you pick somebody good. Oh, that's right. Why oh, was I wrong, man? Phew. Why do morks rush in where wise men fear to tread? <laughs> Boy, that goose must weigh a ton. <laughs> oh, good, it's the tow truck. I better get out there before my auto club card expires. Oh, hi, Billy. Hey, there, little buckaroo. Howdy, Mark. Hey, hey, just knock your feet together twice, we'll do a little chapstick. <laughs> good to see you there, urban cow kid. Why don't you and me go down to the old ghost town and have a shootout? Oh, can't go, Billy. I've got to stay and help Mindy bury your dead battery. <laughs> see, besides that, Billy, I think that I didn't realize that Billy the Kid was into retroactive family planning. Ah, oh, come on. He was a hero. You're just saying that because you're a fraidy cat, like squalmin' yellow. Well, thanks for the compliments, but I still can't go. Billy. Come on, it's just a game. Oh, game or no game, Billy. You see, it simulates violence. Hey, if you really want to understand squalmin' the yellow, let's play his favorite game, Cherchez-moi, which is hide-and-seek. Okay, but I'm warning you, Billy the Kid's smarter. I'll be it. You go high. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Adios, turkey. <laughs> Find me. I studied with Claude Rains. Well, the Jeep's fixed. You're not even close. You're not even tepid. I'll give you a hint. Liberace. What's going on? Min, Min, shh. Quiet. I'm playing hide and seek with Billy, and I'm really skunking him. He hasn't got a chance. All right. No, you're not. I just saw him take off down the street on his bike. He said you'd know where to find him. Oh, no, Min. Oh, no. He's gone down to Windy Gulch. You mean that old ghost down near here? Why? Well, I guess he wants to have a shootout. Oh, great. We better go get him. Oh, Min, Min, Min. It's all right. It's my responsibility. I better go get my trusty 45. Wait a minute. I thought Squillman was a pacifist. Well, he is, Min. That's his manual. 
45 ways to hide. Come on, now. You look in the saloon, and I'll check the livery stable next door. Billy. <coughs> Billy! Billy, come out now. This is Father Mark talking to you, son. <laughs> now, Billy, you shouldn't be here. You should be home watching TV with other little kids, eating cereal and getting hypoglycemic now. <laughs> Billy, now, come on, man. Whoa. I told you not to move. I got a balloon in here with your name on it. Billy, you don't want to continue this silly game and scare the orc chips out of Uncle Mark, do you? Yeah. Oh, just checking. <laughs> no, man, no, please. Min, Min, please be careful. Billy. You might have a balloon with your name on it, too, Perky. What? I don't know what's going on here, but you're coming home with us, young man, right now. Sure, push me around, just because you're older than me. I'm just like my dad. Min, you make him go home right now. I always think that violence is the right way. Yeah, but Mookie's just a little kid. We can't leave him here till he grows up. Yeah, but Min, you don't understand. This is, this is dueling philosophies right here. It's, it's violence against nonviolence. It's like Gandhi versus Dick the Bruiser. You understand? It's like, I don't want to hurt the little kitty. Ah, uh, give it to me now. I'll leave the thing on the hook. That's what I'm trying to say to you, Min. All right, do it your way. Time for a showdown. <laughs> we each get a balloon. If I hit you, Billy's best. You hit me, Swan's best. You're on. Except Squillman doesn't use weapons. Mark, I don't think Okay, Slapper! Min, 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 Min. I hope now that you appreciate the subtlety of my philosophy. Well, look at the good side, Min. You could always win a wet sweater contest. <laughs> something to help him then. Yeah. Somehow we've got to prove to him that, that being an outlaw is only exciting in the movies. That Butch and Sundance weren't heroes, they're only handsome. <laughs> Wait a minute, Min. Bingo! That's an old religious saying on Ark. <laughs> I think I'm away ending this confrontation, Min. I think there's a solution to the possible violence that's escalating before our eyes. First of all, we have to find young Billy, the young person who's just in here recently right now, who attempted to assassinate me with agua pura. <laughs> and if we find him, we must convince him why Billy the Kid never became Billy the Adult. <laughs> and when we do that, we'll have a solution to this violent problem that we have today before. <laughs> Rosemary, did you get all that? Good. Erase it. <laughs> to call his parents. Uh, you wait here to see if Billy shows up. Come on up, you lily-livered coward. I heard you're looking for me, kid. Where are you? Oh. I just rode into town a little while ago. My horse is tied up outside. I wouldn't hold that balloon if I were you. Did you know, you see these notches on these suspenders here? There's 21 of them. You know what happens when I get 22? What? My pants fall down. <laughs> That's why I have to wear this serape here. What's going on? What happened to Squillman? Squillman? Somewhere, someone's got a fistful of feathers. <laughs> why don't you come on down, son? Buy a little drink. Right now, I'm so thirsty I could melt dust. 
Barkeep, sarsaparilla for my friend, I'll sip danger. Come on, Mark. <laughs> Whoa, neat. How'd you do that? There's some questions you can't answer, Billy, like how does Venus de Milo hitchhike? <laughs> Mind if I tinkle, Bill? <laughs> much fun, Billy, especially when there are guns involved. You know, sometimes there might be a real intense game going on here with people sitting in those chairs. Let your imagination wander. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. What I think here is we have a failure to deal an honest hand. <laughs> yeah, you're accusing me of cheating. I'm telling you, you're accusing me of cheating. No. I'm just saying you've got a face so ugly a coyote should beat it out with a stick. I'm telling you, you're telling me that? Don't you dare talk to me like that. Yep, yep, that's what he said. Happy tree. <laughs> oh, stop it, Roy. I don't mean trigger. Here, don't you understand? There's a lot of stuff going down here. You'll never go on here. What's he saying? I don't know. Shut up. Oh. All right, the rest of you, come on, quit hiding from it. They're not doing diddly. Let's get down to the action. <laughs> you all done it now. You had it now. <laughs> hey, Billy, does that seem like fun to you? No, it's pretty scary. Oh, that's just what Uncle Mark wanted to hear. I guess we can head on home now and just talk about this one later. Remember this one when we're older? Nope! Oh, no. Mayday, Amrak. <laughs> All systems alert. Damien, part four. It's all over, Mark! No, no, Billy, no! I... isn't a game, Billy. But it was just pretend. Mark, are you all right? Mark? Min, is Billy nearby? I can't see too clearly. <gasps> no. <laughs> I think he's a doctor. Gee, I wish my dad were here. He's a doctor. There's a cold trough outside. I'll go get a cold washcloth. OK. Oh, no. Mark. Min, can you stop doing that? You're curling my eyebrows. <laughs> Oh, Min, as I fell through the air, I had this incredible idea. I thought I'd, I'd might just wing it, you know? I mean, Squirrel Man had this incredible flair for the dramatic. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're all right, but I think I'd like to wring your neck. Oh. This, this wasn't part of our plan. Shh, Mindy, think Gandhi, Gandhi, nonviolence, nonviolence. We are not here, not be here now, if not get there later. Oh. And, and to Mindy, I leave all of my Tupperware. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's all right, Billy. It's just a game. Kind of heavy stakes, but just a game. I'm sorry. Get better. I saw my dad do this. I hope it works. Oh, I have a feeling it will. Yes. 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 I'm healed. Yay! Praise the power. I had a vision. I saw the Cadillac was coming to carry me home. <laughs> you did it, Billy. Praise you. Yay! I think you saved his life. I did, didn't I? I mean, more better. Yep. Well, you think you want to be Billy the Kid anymore? No way. I've got a new hero now. Who's that, Bill? 
you, Mork. Oh. Oh. I better get home now. My mom and dad will be worried. Is it all right if I throw my bike in your Jeep? Sure. That's better than the other way around. <laughs> yeah. Well, another day, another nervous breakdown. <laughs> Hey, somebody left the Jeep lights on. Min, Min, uh, I know what you're thinking, but it's, it was advanced planning, really, it was. I, I mean, I know we need those lights at night when we have to look for the car keys that I lost. I know, I know. Shh. Patience, Min, patience. It's not only a virtue, in this case, it's a necessity. I'll wait for you, let's ask. All right, all right. Thanks, fellas. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Mark calling Orson. Come on in there, partner. Yo, Bronco Belly. Mark. Get a grip on yourself. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just me and my sidekick, Beeb, sir, horsing around, sir. All right, get it? Horsing around, eh? Huh? One more, Mr. Beeb. <laughs> better if you didn't get it this time. What's your report about this week, Mort? Well, hero, sir, and I'm not talking sandwiches. Are there many heroes on Earth? Oh, yes, sir, there are. But it seems like only the ones with pizzazz seem to get the spotlight. How many times, sir, have you seen Albert Schweitzer's picture on a bubblegum card? Think about that one, sir. Well, maybe it's because he can't throw a good curveball, but isn't that being a little picky? It sounds like Earthlings equate heroism with glamorous deeds. I think so, sir. It's probably good for their T-shirt industry. You always hear about the man who jumps over 13 buses, but you never hear about the John Doe that put him back together again. Who's John Doe? Exactly, sir. That's why I think most real heroes seldom get a headline of their own. Imagine this, sir. Today, millions of Earthlings help one another. No film at 11. Now, that's all she wrote, Orson. We'll get back to you next week if we get that grant from the Chrysler Foundation. Nanu, nanu. It's cute. You'll like it. Don't worry. It's got a nice feel.